All right, what's going on everybody? Rob Satch from Feedback Crunch. I'm gonna to talk to you about a little problem in Facebook. So it's July of, or August of 2020. And if you're trying to set up a Facebook pixel and for some reason when you're setting up your ad, you can't find your new Facebook pixel. Maybe there's an old pixel there. Um, and no matter what, you're setting up your ad and you can't find the pixel. Or when you're creating an audience out of something, you can't find the pixel either. Um, one of the big problems that I see out there is that Facebook accounts are kind of weird. You usually have, if you look here, you've got your personal and a business ad account. And so I'm going to help you figure that out. What happens if you can't, if you're, uh, how do you solve the problem when your Facebook pixel is not showing up when you're creating an ad? Again, it's July 2020. And this is a quick fix, and then I'm going to show you just a little bit of uh, messing around that you want to do. So first of all, remember that business.facebook.com is where you come um, to actually get into this. And the first thing that you'll want to do is <clears throat> you'll want to check out your pixel and make sure that it's installed. Some things have changed drastically. So the first thing you do is you'll come in and go to business manager up here. And then when you go to business settings, what we're going to be doing is looking at what's called the data sources way over here to the left. And in data sources, you have pixels, okay? Um, so in the data sources, what you'll see is here's your actual pixel. Now, there's been kind of a goofy thing that I've noticed. It's really hard to find the installation uh, code anymore because I think they're trying to get you to install the WordPress app or whatever that is. So you'll need to use the JavaScript to install this. Um, just recently in the last two months, I've noticed that there's nowhere in here to like get the code, but here's what you're going to see is you're going to see that your, your, uh, pixels right there. Okay. Now, one of the problems, so I set up, there's, there's two pixels here, one for a different, um, business. And what was happening was, is let's say I want to create an, an audience, right? Now an audience could be people that have been to your website or have been to a separate page, on your website and to get there what you're going to do is you're going to go to business settings and you're going to look for audiences now i've seen many of these different accounts are in different places so go to audiences and once you're in audience what you're going to do is you're going to hit um, now there's a couple different types of audience you have people that have been to your website you've been people who've liked your page or lookalikes of all of those and what you're going to do is you're going to go to create audience and go create custom audience so what we're going to do here is create an audience of people who've been to the website, um, and you can do just a couple of days or you can do up to 180 days, but you hit custom audience. And this is where the problem first raises its head. Now, we're gonna say use sources. Our source is gonna be a website. And when we do this, this is where it first popped up. You'll notice here that this is at first only showing me a, a gray lighted old pixel, and it's a different pixel. Um, that's a problem, right? Now, when I was setting up my ads, uh, I saw that that was there and that there was this gray pixel. And gray means that it hasn't had any website traffic to it. Now, if you're at your website, what you can see is that there is a um, Google Chrome um, extension that you can get, the Facebook Pixel Helper, to see if you have this correct. So here's this guy's uh, website, and there was kind of an interesting thing. I think Facebook is combating Google, but here's the deal. You put this in there, you turn it on, and then you refresh the page, and you'll see that, yes, we do have a page view, and we have the uh, Pixel installed. It's not showing events or anything like that yet, um, but you can use this extension if you want to. So get the Chrome extension. Now, back to the audience. Once you get into the audience, there was only one here. Um, so I'm going to proceed acting like the fix is already done real quick. But um, here was the, the main problem. Actually, I'll show you how to fix this real quick. So if, if there's no, if you've made a pixel and you can't see it and you're in your ad, here's the, the fix that you do. Um, you're going to come over back to your business settings. So go to business settings. Again, go over to pixels. And when you're in pixels, each pixel needs to be connected to the proper asset. And your asset is going to be your ad account. And that's one of the complexities is you might have a personal and a professional ad account. So select your, your, uh, your pixel there and go to connected assets. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure that you select the ad account and then if this wasn't connected you'd hit add assets um, you'd select it and hit add right so that's the main thing is you have to connect the asset connect the pixel to the ad account that's the main thing and then you'll also want to add people to these so that they can actually manage them and that will help a ton so that's 
that's why it's not showing up. So now just we'll real quick, we'll create a, a little uh, pixel here. So let's select the, we'll create an audience with the pixel. So select the current, um, and now what you can say is, Everybody that's been going to this website, you can say all visitors or people who visited a specific page. So if you wanted to go in here and say, hey, all the people that have been to um, in real estate, it could be a specific community. Maybe you're Altadena. I'm from Minnesota saying these Californian words. Um, but maybe you want only people that have been here to be part of a separate audience, right? Um, and then you can do as short as a couple days or one day up to 180 days that they will belong to this audience, right? So you're creating a remarketing list on Facebook. It's July, 2020. Usually what I will do is at first, I'll always start out with like a, a seven day, 14 day, 30, 90 and 180 day audience. You'll come in, you'll name your audience. Here's a tip. Make sure you name this properly. So we'll say um, 180 day all website audience, right? and change it to 180. So basically, that will be the big long 180 one. And we hit create audience and then what will happen is, it'll pop up and you can create an ad right away or create a lookalike of that. Now the lookalikes, um, you'll see it kind of takes some time. You have to get traction on your website uh, to get that going. But I would recommend making seven, 14, 30, 45, 90, and then some of the longer ones. And the idea is, is people can be part of different audiences. So you could create an audience now that says, um, create a seven day, and then you can do this staggered approach. So the next audience might be like uh, people who are not as hot to trot long term, and you can put different types of posts in front of them. So long story short, get into your business settings, um, go down to the, the actual pixel here, Go to connected assets and make sure that you've connected the pixel to your doggone uh, ad account and that will make sure that it's there. So good luck. God bless. I hope that helps.